Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Stadium. Today, we're going to be working on the inner circle. We're going to be working sort of in the arena area. Uh, one, it'll just make it look nice for the rest of the videos if we have something in there that doesn't look like a plain dotted line. And uh, secondly, it's going to sort of double check for us that everything else is to scale and is going to give us enough room. We still have a little bit of room to play with on all of the sides. So if we need to make it a little bit larger, we can, but hopefully we don't. Hopefully we're about right. Now, I think to work out the scale uh, or, or to make sure that we've got enough room first would be to use this running track as a sort of start. Now, we're going to be close. Don't get me wrong. I think we're going to be very close, but I think we've got enough room. And I think what we're going to do with this is if I get my orange dot, which I have, fortunately, and what was it? Seven or nine blocks between... It was nine total, wasn't it? Seven blocks between point orange one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's nine total, seven between. And these ones can move forward or back. If we had one here, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one here. Now what we need to do is we need to make this orange point circle round and join up to that one and this one circle round and join up to that one now if there isn't enough room for us either we clip the corner of the pitch or we clip the outside of here we should be able to hopefully move it forward and back a little bit we've got a little bit of playroom in here oh we are one block out as well that would mess things up don't get that kind of thing wrong uh, so i actually have what i think would be the inside ring of the racetrack. I think it needs to be a 54. And we just start here. Oh, no, it can't be 54. It has to be 55. Hold okay, on. I got it wrong. I had 54 by 54, but obviously 54 is an even number. Uh, we want an odd number because we have a middle point to our pitch. So I went with 53 by 53, which should hopefully, hopefully be about right. I'm going to put a block on top just so I know that that's the middle point. Otherwise, I always forget and it's dumb, I know, but oh well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to draw this circle out that I have on my other monitor. Uh, I didn't show you this last episode doing the big circles because they're just big circles and they take a long time uh, so uh, but with this little one I don't mind showing as much it doesn't take as long so it's three three such an easy tool to use as long as you don't lose where you are in the circle if you lose where you are in the circle it's right pain two three four one two three four how far away are we from the corner good uh, two one two three three ha 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 and then we can just join up oops and obviously this is the same on the other side because as long as everything else is correct uh, it should be the same width between the start of the running track and the edge of the football pitch uh, but yeah there's that curve and it looks like we're going to have a beautiful amount of room in order to get around here as well now how would i work out the diameter of this next one i'm going to have to add if i add s eight what do i have to add i have to add 16 yeah Okay, 50, okay, I'll be back. I can't tab out of Minecraft while recording, otherwise the recording goes black and looks horrible. I think it's 69 by 69 to do the outside one. We're just going to find out. Let's just do it. We'll find out. So again, I'm going to put a block on there just so I know that's the middle point. And we're going to come out one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, this is always nerve wracking. One, two, three, four. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we should be okay. One, two. One, two, three. Ooh. One, two. Ooh, we're getting close. One, one, two. Uh, yeah, one, two. Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, th two three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. One, one, two. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then hopefully we're in line, which we are. Sick. Okay, excellent. 
Uh, now, obviously, running tracks need white lines to go between them and stuff like that. I ain't going to worry about that too much yet. Um, we might put a white line on the outside and inside or something like that. But perfect. As we can see, yeah, look at that. Even on the map, it looks like it's keeping the same width. Now, I don't mind that it gets close to the wall there. That's just how numbers work when you've got different uh, diameters. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um Oh, I'm so chuffed that that's actually worked out so nicely. Okay, I need to do this. No, I can cheat, can't I? No, I don't need to go. I don't. I don't need to go away. No, 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 no. Okay, so uh, I can now. I can keep those there, and we just need to fill in the middle of this with set one fifty nine one. And it's not the easiest thing to do here. Whenever you're building anything on a circle or like on a curve it's always a little tricky to color it in as fast as possible but i think this is one of the most efficient ways to do it uh nope not there like that because if we get this wrong we mess up a lot of stuff don't we so there to there no we're good that one to that one that one to that one whoa uh, this one to here is fine. That one to that one. That one to that one. And this one down to here. Again, I'm going to put two red blocks on here just so I know that that's the middle point. And now we can do the pitch. If we put a solid white line on these pit on this pitch here. Coming all the way down here. Uh, quicker to do it by hand than it is with world edit, I think. It's not really going to make too much of a difference. Down there. All the way to the corner. We can now hopefully get rid of that corner one. I don't think I need that there anymore. It's only a sort of placeholder. Um, I don't. I think that the... Um, what do you call it? Penalty box, I think, is too small at the moment. Uh, I had a quick look at football stadiums. I'm not a huge football fan. I watch football, like, if it's on and if I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'll happily just sit there and watch a game. But uh, I'm not a huge football fan, and I don't know the exact dimensions of pictures. Uh, I think my first... The football stadium that we done on the old Let's Build a City series back on Xbox, I'm pretty sure was worked out to be perfectly to scale to the blocks if you know what i mean like each block in minecraft is a meter by a meter by a meter so we worked out how big a football pitch is in meters and put that many blocks down but in my opinion it's just way too big because i don't know the player just doesn't seem to sort of work quite that well for that okay so we have the corners in just do something simple like those two there we'll get some flags in and stuff but that's sort of smaller details that we don't need to worry as much about now apparently the oh we weren't far off the penalty box goes about halfway between we have a little box that comes around here i got a football pitch up i i'm not a psychic genius uh i can either go down here or one up we'll do try this one first I think we can go on. Uh, like that. And like this. Okay. And then it's this line, the actual penalty box, is uh, about halfway between the goal post and the corner. Which is about here. Looks about right to me. Uh, we're not here to make a perfect... <laughs> mathematical perfect stuff. I like the mathematically perfect circles. That's an important part, uh, but not necessarily perfect um, perfect pictures. Uh, I'm also going to extend this up by a couple of blocks as well. I don't think it was quite sort of deep enough. I think that's much more of a more realistic sort of depth between that line and the second line here. Uh, we'll go through this one. And how many blocks was it? Uh, four. Four. Easy. Uh, one, two, three, four, down here. Now, the reason why I'm doing this pitch before I'm doing the other corners of the uh, running track is quite simple. Because uh, when we copy the running track, 
it's on the same height, you know, level, y-axis, as the pitch. So we might as well kill two birds with one stone. Technically, I needed to do one corner of the pitch. Uh, I don't need to do that other side, though, for sure, 100%. Uh, because when we copy and flip and paste, hopefully we'll be doing the pitch at the same time. Okay, and then for this circle, uh, it goes about as width, the width of the goal. Uh, I was a little bit off on that last episode as well. And we're going to do... Let's just see what that looks like. You know, that's probably about right for our scale, right? That's probably roughly about right. Yeah, we can put tennis courts in here, volleyball stadiums. We can do anything that we want and we just swap them out. Uh, but we can't, we can't start doing that until the entire stadium is completed because obviously we're actually going to be copying and pasting a uh, certain amount of stairs of seats and stuff. A little bit... Uh, complicated to explain but in my head I think I've got it all worked out on how we can easily change out our different stadiums okay so there's half the pitch done uh, goal details of nets and stuff I'm not really that worried about yet uh, what we need to do though is go from here a two Here should be good. Stand on here. Uh, copy. F flip south, which is the direction behind me, and then paste. Oh, whoops. Uh, I need to go down here, obviously. Dumbo. I only selected like the four red blocks. <laughs> Copy. Uh, flip south. Paste. Should be good, yeah. Paste, yeah, wonderful. And then if I now select from over here, uh, like yeah, as long as I'm in line, it's all good. It doesn't really matter here. From that one, go over there and select that red corner over there. Copy and flip east, which is that direction. Stand on here. Uh, copy, flip east, and paste. It should give us the other half. Excelente mundo. Wonderful. Loving it. Uh, now, I suppose we should green the pitch. I can do that off camera. I'm just going to get some lime. We've done this. I'm sure you guys have all seen this before. Get some lime clay and strike the pitch. It's just going to make it look a lot uh, tidier. And I should also get rid of the red dots now, these white lines, uh, and just sort of clean up that area a little bit. All right, so I've striped the pitch. I really like how it looks. It looks a lot neater. We might even extend these to go up to the running track in the middle, just not run this outside part. Uh, this outside part is likely going to be a different color. Now, with the goals themselves, we have a few options. We can either stick with what we've got, or we can change them to cobblestone walls, which is another popular way of doing... Oh, hello. Of doing... Hello. <laughs> what was that accent? of doing um of goal posts using these uh, obviously they're not white they're not like perfectly white but they do just have that sort of more posty feel uh nope there yeah see they i think they look a little bit better and then you've got the old cobweb trick for the netting flawlessly works uh really nice design so we'll go with this and we're gonna go with the uh type of net that sort of is a triangle shape so we're going to sort of angle this down like this to sort of i think uh, more of an old school style next i think most of them now or do we need to go with i guess i think I, i'm sure most of them now are just square aren't they yeah we'll go with a square one then i think the old school ones used to be more of a uh more of a triangle shape where it was just sort of pinned down like a tent uh, but now they hold the backs up with posts don't they Yeah, I think that already it already looks a little bit more like a realistic uh, looking thing. And then there's some posts at the back here uh, that has string attached to these. We might even be able to use full blocks, in fact, or something like that. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Funky block placement. Uh, there. There. Oops. Come on. Uh, that one. 
It probably just works like that in all honesty. And then do another one over here. Uh, that one. That one. That's better. Well, I had so much trouble on that other side. And then that's we've got ourselves a goal. I think that looks like the coolest looking, how it's sort of holding it up then. I'm sure we could find probably a thinner block, like a, a fence or something might even be better. Oh yeah, since this is grey, uh, this could probably work a lot better. One, two, up. Two, two, up. Uh, it does not join up, eh? Uh, we can make it join up. We could force it to join up by using one of those. Bink. I think it goes the wrong way, in all honesty. I think it would be better if it went that way. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so we then want it to be on this side. That one, that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one. And swap that for that. Okay, I'm very happy with that. For And I'll do that on the other side in a bit. Uh, for the running track, it would be really nice if I could get three... Lie three lanes down. Obviously, I can't get like eight or twelve lanes that they have. Uh, you know, this is sort of just like a, an extra part on the side. Now, I was looking at running trucks, but I got some running trucks up here, and I really like the one that has uh, this perfect, this kind of blue tinge, bluey purpley tinge around the out. See how those colours go so well together. It reminds me very much of uh, of an American college race track running track. And they have that on either side. And then in the middle, hopefully, we can get some uh, some white lines between. Now, this always looks a little bit weird, especially when you get to corners. If we went with every single one, like this, sure, it works on the straights. But as soon as you get to the corners, there's probably not going to be enough room. And you're going to end up with these sort of one pixelated parts. So... We're going to do maybe like three, maybe four, but uh, well, well, th I don't have a middle, junk, 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 junk. I do have a middle point, so we might be able to get away with four. No, I don't have a perfect middle point. No, three. If we go two there. Oh no, this is actually really awkward. Because I've got two, three, and then two. And if I go in the middle, you know, it might be good just to go with two then. Because I can't get one in between here and here. Because that's then four blocks. And I can't really add... I could add another block to the inside of the running track. If I added one block to the inside, that wouldn't be enough. You'd have to add that one that one that one cool no uh, you'd have to add so many to get an extra lane in to be two blocks thick that would be crazy thick uh, that goes there so what if instead we have that as our pattern we have two lanes but we have white and then the purple I think that's what we'll go for. Uh, so then I can just draw around the inside, draw around the outside, and then go in the middle. I'll be back. Check it out. Check that out. That looks really cool. The purple just really... I don't know why. The purple just really sets off the orange. The two lanes no longer looks so weird only having two lanes. I would have more. I would have like 12 if I could or 8 if I could. But... We'd have no thin blocks in Minecraft to divide the lanes. The only way that we can do a lane is by putting a meter wide lane in it. You know, each block's a meter wide, so each white one uh, dividing it is a meter wide. So you need a huge racetrack if you want to have a white line down the middle. You can use string, but that sucks. And yes, I know I've got these kind of... Where are they? Uh, I've got some lines, haven't I? Yeah, in here. Somewhere, somewhere there. Yeah. Uh, I've got some lines that you can put down and 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 do things with, but it, that all sucks. This looks cool, and uh, the shaders are really working well, reflecting the uh, the running track around the side there. We're in a really solid position now to start on the stadium itself next episode, though. Unfortunately, I've run out of time today. This might episode might be a little bit shorter. I have no idea. This kind of thing. 
takes forever to do for any of you that have ever built a stadium you'll know that just like doing the little dots around the running track and striping the pitch even with world that it takes ages uh so yeah i've got to uh, stop for today i've got some other stuff to do but if you guys enjoyed it then hit that like button i do appreciate it, especially on a series like this especially on a new series like this as well and we shall see you guys in the next episode